Hello everyone, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. Look what we got here today. So today we got a vehicle that we already uh, did in the past. And this is the Arma Big Rock uh, Crew Cab. Uh, this is the newer version that they did a couple upgrades on it. Um, of course the other one also came with a wheelie bar and everything. And it's a little bit bigger vehicle than the... Um, Arma Granite, but we're talking about an inch or two, that's it. Uh, but a lot of people asked me to do these videos, uh, and I decided to show it, because also this one comes with this really cool, it's not exactly flat black when you look at it. It's kind of like more goldish in the black, and it's really hard to see in the video unless you have like a very good screen. But it's not flat, flat black, it's almost like kind of um, mix of gold with the black and it's really really cool uh, and let's open it up and see what there is inside of course those are brushless electric and they're doing about 50 miles an hour this vehicle do not have a brushed version like all the other one and it's too bad that it did not do a brushed version so of course we, before you remove it out you have those pins that have the safety uh, rubber bands on them so you don't lose those and it's really cool and when you open it up, it's actually inside. It's kind of nice and black. And this is the body. It's really cool. Let's put it aside. And then we're looking at the inside of the vehicle. So when you look at the frame, the frame is a little bit longer. Just just tiny bit longer and that's it. But other than that, you have the same BLX100 that you find on the Arma Granite. And you have over here the same Spectrum motor, you know, like this one is the 3200 KV series and it's come with a small fan over here to cool it down whenever you run it. Um, I highly recommend whenever you get those vehicles uh, to move this thing sideways and add another fan, add a bigger fan. A lot of people get it and say, oh, if they put a fan, it's enough. It's never enough. You always need more power and more cooling so when you go crazy and you want to go and bash you really need to have a bigger fan over here even if it's oversized and it's like not really fitting it's even better because more airflow around your motor it's going to cool down better now when you look at the back over here those one come in with those uh plastic shocks from arma and of course the oil field they feel pretty good but i always recommend again open it up uh, pour the silicone oil that arrived from the factory and put inside uh, higher quality stuff whatever way to work for you there is no real formula of what will make it work better so you need to find what works for you of course on the rear they have here the bumper and you have this nice uh, wheelie bar that is very sturdy and designed to kind of take some abuse and let's look over here real quick so when you look on this vehicle, the bumper here is a tiny bumper, so a lot of people end up breaking the vehicle, hitting straight forward. Uh, I highly recommend there's a couple companies that make a nicer bumper. Uh, I'm going to 3D print a nicer, bigger bumper that go forward, that like when you crash, you're going to break a cheap bumper versus like breaking all those parts over here, because those drive shaft over here, um, the adjustable kind of the telescopic one here they like to break when you hit <laughs> uh, so you have to pay attention to it now in those vehicle you have of course the EC5 <coughs> sorry it's very important um, some people order in the EC3 batteries and I see it a lot so make me wow I'm choking you one second people <coughs> now I understand all those guys that have those bottle of, of water near them uh, when they're doing the video uh, anyway, so make sure that you get in EC5, IC5, but not the 3. The 3 is too small and it's not going to work. You have here your battery bay, and I want to show about the battery bay, this piece of plastic right there. This piece of plastic right there, it's removable. It's designed to remove, and also this one here, if you have a bigger battery, the oversized battery will fit but you need to remove those a lot of people don't know it and they buy a bigger battery and claim that it does not fit also you have here this entire system of the quick removal of the motor 
it's kind of like the motor motor uh, gear system and all you need to do is kind of pull this thing backward you see it's a telescopic system you pull it backward you lift it up and then there's two screws on the bottom and this entire thing is coming out this to do some adjustment for your clutch system for the because it's a kind of a dry clutch with a spring that you have to adjust from time to time and if you need to change the gear so this is how you do that uh, I know a lot of people not reading the instruction so please do because you will need it uh, you have here also those nice mud guards uh, when you go running it in water because it's kind of a splash proof waterproof and you get muds want to get in this preventing it so it's really cool and overall this vehicle is a nice vehicle um, Again, it's like depend where you're buying them. They're roughly around three hundred and fifty dollars or so. Uh, if someone wants to put in the comments that they find one cheaper on eBay or used from their friend, go ahead. I see it all the time. People cannot uh, cannot take it when someone gives them something a dollar more than what they saw online somewhere. Um, anyway, this is available at Motor Styles Hobby Shop, uh, one seven five four zero Chatsworth Street in Granada Hills. Uh, and if you have any question or you would like to see something else, you can just ask me in, uh, in one of the videos and I will try to do my best to answer. And if you want to see other vehicle, uh, I'm going to do another vehicle video for this thing, of course, when we are actually driving it and show you the performance out of it. It's a really cool vehicle. Uh, I'm happy that they actually decided to go with a cool kind of color before it was only like coming in a blue and the blue was not the coolest color for this vehicle, to be honest with you. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and write a comment below. When you, while you guys write in comments and you communicate with other people, some of the companies looking at it, and when they see someone that keep communicate with other, with other YouTubers, they sometimes give me batteries to give you guys, sometimes give me cars, and other things that uh, you may want to get for free. So don't forget, always be nice to people. All the people that you like to give thumb downs to my video, go ahead, do that. It's also, it's good because I know that you guys are watching. Uh, see you on my next video. Uh, if you need anything from our shop, we are open and we work with appointment. And we clean the shop kind of like after every customer so you can feel safe here. Stay safe, run your RC car, go have fun. Bye.